Welcome back, Rednecks on Comics. I'm Daniel. Mark. Dave. Black Hammer. Terry. We're today we're doing Captain America number eleven. Yep. Battle line birds. There, there we go. I got it right. Yeah. You want to start us off? This first Captain America book that I've read in this new series, and I thought it was pretty good. I mean, to have jumped in part five of the storyline, I thought it was a pretty good read. Well, I, I started off with it when they first started on the number one. Picked up through six. They started off real good. Then I don't know what happened. <laughs> but, um, well, it's bad enough for, you know, I'm like, you know, I've got other stuff I want to get other than that. You know, and I'm a big Captain America fan. But uh, we were after reading this one. I was impressed with it. It did jump back to like it was original. It wasn't quite as good, but it did, you know, like I said, I don't know what happened in that short run where they brought Red Skull back, but it was yeah. gone over. Well, for everybody who hasn't been reading the Captain America, I'm not going to try to spoil it too much for you, but Cap's in prison in this one, and there's a big breakout scene and everything. I liked the book. I just I just liked it. But and he had a good team to well, yeah. bounce with. An unusual team. An yeah. unusual yeah. team. But, you know, like it said in the book, you go to war with the army you've got, yeah. not the army you want. So, that Now, has he teamed up with any of those before that you can recall? Not that I can recall. Because I don't recall, you know, recall him, you know, maybe find them once in a while. But yeah. <laughs> How did you read it? Well, yeah, I read it. Well, you going to push me and put on it? You guys were talking. Well, that will go to you. Uh, well, what, uh, I liked it a lot. No, I've never seen them team up with those people before. Nor have I seen the crew that came in to back up at the end. I've never heard of them, really. I, I know who they are, but I've never seen them as a team. Yeah. So that was pretty interesting for me, too. What was the name? Get Daughters of Liberty? Yeah. I wasn't well, trying to give the name away. <laughs> well, I mean, they've been together <laughs> yeah. before. Yeah. I was like, I guess they have. Well, never seen that's them probably a new thing, because the one to put them together, she's been through it from one. I mean, that's more or less it. Because they got Miss Invisible as a part of it, too, and yeah. I had no idea. The Invisible Woman. Yeah. Invisible. Yeah. I don't know where that came from. Miss Fantastic. Yeah, Miss Fantastic. <laughs> that's them all together. It gives a damn. <laughs> Our audience does. <coughs> no, they don't. Yes, they do. They know Black Hammer speaks, but Black Hammer wants to speak. Our whole 83 viewers that we're dropping down. Y'all going to have to pick up numbers up. I'm just saying. <laughs> How do you pick up numbers? One, two, <laughs> three. Four, oops, five. View, 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 view. <laughs> Subscribe, <laughs> like. We're getting off the track here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's your fault. You asked the question. I did. You knew better. I did. Well, I, thought was, I thought it was a really good read, though. Well, Mark's like, you really was asshole over here. You know better. <laughs> it was a good read, though. I did. I missed that part at the beginning, though, with the uh, little... If yeah, if you catch up page. Yeah. yeah, if you are starting in that this book um, on the second page. Third page. Yeah, but well, when you flip to the second page, to the third page on the right hand side there, um, it's catch up. It does a pretty good job catching up with what's going yeah. on. So you said you picked up from number one, and this is talking about a uh, Supreme Hydra, or that looked like Steve Rogers. Is that like a clone or something? No, that was actually the um, what was the name of that series, Terry? Secret. Secret Empire. Secret Empire. Secret Empire. Empire. Yeah. Secret Empire run, uh, where there was a guy who looked a whole lot like Captain America. Who uh, Captain America, Steve Rogers, the book, as they were breaking out in of a certain area and everything, he leaned up and whispered to a pilot in the plane or something like that, "Hail Hydra," and he was a clone or something like that of, of Captain America who was a, a Hydra agent, Hydra plant. Hmm. So, but this, that's kind of spinning out of that. I'm, I'm not going to give Secret Empire any real props because <laughs> it sort of sucked, but. Yeah, that was kind of a rough read. Yeah. Uh, what'd you think about it, Terry? Or, Terry didn't read it. You didn't get a chance to read it? Uh, was this one here? Yeah. That's how you start. I think sure I read the books when I was born so I can get a little input on it. But did you read any of the Secret Empire? Uh, maybe the first issue, but then I kind of lost track of it. Reading other stuff I was more interested in. Yeah. So I never really got to read the whole story. I just if Terry doesn't like it, don't read it. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's true. 
Uh, the Secret Empire run, you know, it started off with real high sales. And then as it went on, sales dropped off. I may have one or two number one still sitting in back stock over there. But, like, by the time it came up to the end, I've got, like, all of them but one that I ordered in. So, well, we didn't discuss this beforehand, but speaking of sales dropping off. Captain Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Captain Marvel. Um, you got some news that she might not be around much longer. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm not saddened by that fact. No, no, no not at all. In the least. Not at all. But, okay. uh, because sales since January have dropped off, what do we see, see 76.3% 76, 76. Like since January to now. Now, do you think some of that's got to do with the movie? The movie was horrible. So, I would say yes, but Captain Marvel's not a lead character. No. She, she never had been. She is a fantastic backup character in any book I've ever seen her in. Standalone. But Maybe like a standalone cyborg. You just, you know, just don't see that working out. She's good for a battering ram when you need her in a fight. Yeah. yeah. And not even real good for that sometimes because Rogue had no powers other than to be able to absorb other people's powers. And she wiped her out in the first 30 seconds they fall. Way back yeah. in the old X-Men yeah. world. Yeah. So. Well, we all know movies can make or break a comic character. Uh, just look at Deadpool. Yeah. I mean, before the movies, nobody really knew Deadpool. Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man. Well, yeah, before that started, you know, Iron Man was oh, he rated was, a B-list. Yeah, yeah, an yeah. RC. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was... Yeah. Thor wasn't really... No, Thor was not big at all. Yeah. I mean, he was, you had your diehard Thor fans, but well, you he had, was not an A-list. You had that Simonson run inside the Thor books yeah. that just totally impressed everybody who read them. Yeah. But then after then that had run the ended... the unworthy Thor that really... Like, let's not even... <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I've worked for years to have a bottle like Thor and I've accomplished it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. Me and my keg, three on the six pack. Unworthy keg. <laughs> Bring out unworthy Thor crap up every time you get a chance to. Well, Listen, people, <laughs> that series started out really good. The first two issues were fantastic. The rest of it is garbage. If you want us to review it, say something in the comments, and I'll give I you an honest review. Unworthy on Thor. It. I'd like to read it. I would like to read it. Well, the only other one is read right besides Marvel's me, and I agree. It's a letdown. You're hyped up for it. It's good. It's a great story. And boy, is it a letdown. It's unworthy, issue. okay? It's supposed to be that a letdown. last issue hits you, and you're like, I, I hate I bought all these. <laughs> well, <laughs> you yeah. give them away. Yeah. I got him that last one. Away. I got him gave him that last yeah. one yeah. That, uh, <laughs> for Christmas. Is kind of a, throw up there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, the last one, they're signed uh, by Thor uh, himself. <laughs> and uh, I take I took a look at it. Just that last little bit that I read, I'm like, yeah, I can see I'm stand. Yeah. You know. It's a shame. It started out, it started out so good. Yeah. You just well, wait for another issue. He can still pick the meal near up. Yeah. Correct? At the end? No. Oh, he couldn't pick it up or so? No, he could have. Yeah, that's what I'm left, saying. Yeah. He left it. He yeah, I mean, he had the ability to. He just turned it down. He walked away. So. Why? That's the most ridiculous it. thing I ever read in my life. He, he's striving to be a hero, striving to be a hero, and it says, it's not mine, I can't pick it up. How stupid is that? Yeah, that's a letdown. Big time letdown. Well, Jonathan wasn't here to mention Aquaman, so I thought I'd <laughs> fill in just a little bit with that. <laughs> Never. I am not. They, they already know my opinion on the man. It's just, now, let's give Aquaman just a touch of credit. Let's back up. Yeah, he's a really good character in Injustice. He sucks in comics. So uh, let's let's well, let's back up to the Tempest. He's had, he well, had let's put well, it yeah. this way. The character himself himself is an awesome character. Yeah. If he's the writer yeah. that has been writing him sucks. Aquaman doesn't write you, him. You can really see bad. you can see so much potential in this character. And they do no justice for the man. Now, and I have not read an, I, I, I'm going to be honest I have not read an Aquaman comic since probably the late 90's yeah. and they were 
decent books to read then. I mean, you could pick them up and, and read them and get some enjoyment out of them. I, I have not read any of this new run. But when I read the way this... you all talk about it, I'm not going to. Well, when I read this new run, what pissed me off the most about the whole thing <coughs> is I could see the character and I could see the potential he had. And I saw what they limited him to. And that ticks me off. I, you know, I mean, why waste a good character? Yeah, what a surprise. And, and, and if you game. if you like the movie and you think you're going to jump into the it. comics, no, I did not like the movie. And I like the comics, then I would. Sure. <laughs> yeah, very urge them awesome not to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. nothing a lot. I, I didn't hate it. I, just, I was surprised. I, I, what do you think about the movie? The movie, the movie. They underdid. I glad something could have done to it. Yeah, I put that movie way above Captain Marvel. Yeah, but the last Scooby Doo movie was way above Captain Marvel. True. And it got like a seventeen percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't listen to that Rotten Tomatoes for nothing. That, yeah, a bunch of the, do you know what that is though? How they get We're that about score? To get Rotten Tomatoes. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. But the way that they do it is with critic. They have a, a list of critics and fans that they pull from, yeah. and the, that's the percentage that gave it thumbs up or thumbs down. But on the Aquaman movie, if they would make the comics to follow that. I'd be picking up around every week every time I bought yeah. that. I liked the movie. I yeah, thought it had I thought it had some good humor in it. I it was close to the original origin story. Yeah. Not quite there, but yeah. close. Yeah. I just felt like there's too much self loathing. Too much what? Just too much self loathing. Too yeah. much oh, this happened. And I just yeah. not that it was a bad movie or a bad character, it's just that it's too downing. It's too downing at times. Well, it's like come on now. Well your mom you think your mom sacrificed you know, because she had you, you'd be kind of, yeah, too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't want to see it in my movies, though. <laughs> I don't want to see it in every movie. Everything's not rainbows and sunshine all the time. you got to have some. But as far as, like, the um, <laughs> underwater um, critters, you know, the animals, mm-hmm. I thought they'd done an amazing job. They the seahorse, the sharks. Yeah. 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 Oh, they're coming out. Uh, not jumping off the topic here with that, but... The, uh, the trench. Yeah, they're coming off spin off of the trenches. Yeah, yeah. Just the trench characters and, and everything in that with all of the, uh, the the amazing CGI that they did with it. But if people that dog would be a good movie. DC movies, you know, the live action movies all they want to, but the last two that came out, Aquaman and Shazam has beat the last two Marvel movies in my opinion. Shazam was the pump. Yeah, Shazam, Shazam, Shazam did not let me down. Miss Mar- or Captain Marvel and Endgame, I wouldn't impress with either one of them. I, I hate to admit it, but I've not had a chance to see Shazam yet. I want to because, you know, one of my favorite characters growing up, but I have not had a chance well, to see Well, I don't want to disappoint you at all. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, You'll yeah. enjoy it. I'll they have hit, they did the Billy Batson came. Not Shazam, the Billy Batson, so they did a great job. Yeah, I, I was I was worried about Zach. Was it Zachary Levi? Yeah, but he did a really good job. He did, yeah. But if, if you look at it for the character that he played, he was a good pick for that. Yeah, because even when he turns into Shazam, he's still got that. And he's still got to have the yeah, kid. that kid in him. Yeah, he's yeah. still that kid there. But I, I want to go back to the book for just a minute. Okay. Um, what did you guys think of the art? I was probably 6.5 on the art. I was, I I was more caught by the read than I was the art. Yeah. Like, I, really, I barely even looked at the, the artwork itself because I was actually, I really didn't get caught up in the the story pulled the art along yes. yeah. very well. Yeah, yeah the art, in uh, mine, I'm saying six on the yeah, art. Give it a six, it wasn't horrible. Uh, it, it was when like, I was reading it and looking through it, I, you know, I read and then I looked at the pictures and, you know, do it that way. But there's something about the way, who, I, and I didn't, I hate to admit, I did not look and see who the artist is on this. His facial drawing the detail in his faces was not up to what I thought it should be for but, this you know, level of book. In all honesty, they, they never did a... Feet, he can't draw feet. I can't, I can't remember any panels that had like actual close-up. Everything was kind of a yeah. distant... Offset. Yeah. But, you know, it was just like the faces were... were blank. You know, Steve Rogers has got kind of a distinctive look. Kind of an iconic him. look, yeah. It, this did not resemble that to me. Well, you look at it, but a lot of it is mostly just like 
side shots from far off, back, you know, back of the head. Well, the, there was a few straight on. Yeah, but they weren't really clear at all. Yeah, like, they were shadowed, <laughs> really shadowed. Yeah, it, it, there was, there just wasn't the detail I was expecting. Yeah. You know, my, for me, I was about a five. My, well, I gave it a six, rating. six, five. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought that the story actually pulled the book along extremely well. I thought oh, it yeah. too. Yeah. And the read, the read was really good. It was it was action packed pretty much from start to finish. Well, you start um, out with a prison ride. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you got the story and it's drawing you along. And again, it's not the art ain't something you're going to finish the panel then look at the art. But you're not going to uh, finish the panel and say, eh, you know, to the art either. I mean, you're going to glance at it, but you're not going to study it for its beauty and you're not going to, you know, criticize it all the way through the book. Yeah. You know, in my opinion. Anyways, it, it was what it was as far as the art went, but the story pulled the art along the fantastic. Story, but the, the cover, I mean, you could the, yeah, the, yeah. yes, the cover is the, that battle lines variant. I don't know yeah, how I've well y'all can see it. I found one battle line variant that I didn't really care for, and that was Nick Fury because he yeah. looked like Uncle Ruckus. <laughs> the face, you know? Yeah. If you all don't know who Uncle Ruckus is, you should look up Boondocks. <laughs> and don't question me on my reference. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, you know, given the story, a little above a seven, yeah. because it, it ran good. I can't it. And the art around the six, I say the book <laughs> is a total of a seven yeah. because of the story <laughs> and the cover. That a definite. What are you giving the um, story? I gave the story a seven. So do that. I'll give it a seven. Yeah. I definitely want to go through and pick up one through ten, just because I really, I really did enjoy reading it. To jump right in, like you said, to jump right in, in the middle of something, yeah. And yeah, starting of a new storyline too at that. You know, so yeah, it kind of you know after reading, I kind of wish I didn't drop it, you know, as fast as I did. And, but like I say, I had other stuff I wanted to pick up. Yeah. Well, we're all kind of in that that position too. I mean, I, I've got a. I'm, I'm co-owner of the comic shop, but I still got to kind of be careful about what I pull in because if I'm taking all the books home, then they ain't no, nothing left to sell. And you don't want to take them home, read them, and then bring them back and box them. No. Back and forth and back up. No. Yeah. I'll tell you what I can't wait to read when I get home, though, is that deceased number two. It's good. Is it? Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, we got lucky, bro. Yeah. What did everybody pick up this week? I don't even remember. I picked what up uh, Green Lantern number eight, Shazam number seven, and uh, Deceased in Gotham, number two. And then I picked up my Midtown variant of Jason Todd going ham on the Joker with a crowbar. Yeah, I got the, <laughs> yeah, I got the Midtown <laughs> Deceased, <laughs> too, and then Deadpool for the, Savannah. But the horror homage for that, to give one yeah. the horror homage of uh, Batman and Ivy, though, is an amazing cover. Yeah. And it's the yeah. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street. So yeah, if Ivy doesn't wake up I'm screaming, she won't wake up at all. And I was like, yes, yes. <laughs> I can't wait to see the other movie. I can't either. But I did pick up Savage Avengers last yeah, week. Yeah, Savage Avengers 2. Or I got two. that. I picked that up today. Yeah. I mean, it's been out, you know, a couple of weeks. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm still picking yeah. stuff up. But it's, it's you know, I'm still, I haven't decided which one I like better, the Deceased or the Savage. Uh, I haven't read number two of either one of them. And yet. another awesome My shame. But <laughs> Batman Black Label Damned comes out next week. It's coming out next week, yeah. As yeah. long as they don't short everybody. Yeah. Well, this um, week, yeah. uh, yeah, Superman... Year one, Frank Miller's interpretation. I like where they're going in the story, I mean, like the, the origin story, how they're starting out. I just really wish they'd done something different with the cover. I like the cover myself. And none of us have read this yet, so we can't give you a good, honest review. Yeah, I just on like this, through, I, just I like where it's yeah, 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 like yeah, I, I got the got that one. I, I like the cover. On it. I, the cover I'm, I'm just off about it. Just, just yeah. leave it. It's different. It's, it's, you know, it's really it, uh, and that's what I'll. I'll, I'll it, well, to me, it's really, really it's the iconic House of Elder symbol. It's the way they did it. I don't like. It looks like a five. And, <laughs> well, in all honesty, I can't say it looks like my daughter. The ass has that's changed like, so much, so much yeah. over the years. That, that is drastic. No, have you seen the original? Like the very first. Look at. It. Yeah, I picked this up, and then I got uh, Justice League. It doesn't go with continuity, so I mean, you can just, just do what you want 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's his own little that's world. He can do yeah, what he wants to do. Yeah. 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 That's what makes it interesting as far as the reading part. Yeah, and you know, since they announced that they have officially killed off Ferdinand. That. From that, yeah. All right, Terry. That guy. That's the flipping that guy. Show so, oh, that guy. I just pulled up, like, every one of them. Looks changed quite a bit. 1940 was black with a red S. 1941, still black. They made the S bigger. It's changed a lot. Yeah. yeah. It has gone story. through a lot of... Uh, just look at it on Action Comics. One of them. And like I say, this one's open to his interpretation. I mean, they gave him free reign to it. So. That's right. Yeah, go for it. I like it. I do, I do. Not that I like everything else about on it, but the S. And face. Yeah, his face is a little off. A little off, buddy. Inside art now is actually better. The inside art's it's decent. Really it's it's I didn't cracked it open look at it. Yeah, the inside art's pretty good on it. I, I'd give the inside art an 8.5. And you know how yeah, particular really I am about art. Yeah. Now, you know, there, we tried not to. really good with this Black Label series. Man. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited um, to see where it's going. I'm picking up Black Label. Like they're, they're all so, good. Yeah. They're doing great. The art's yeah. doing great in them. But, um, oh, you DC haters out there, need to get a life. <laughs> and we did find a Marvel that we kind of enjoyed. And, uh, and there are a lot of Marvel books that we all kind of enjoy. The Savage Avengers. Yeah. Um, yeah. War of the Realms Punisher. Yeah, War of the Realms Punisher. That was War of the Realms main, main storyline. Story. I have Everything not got to read all of that yet. How, how, <laughs> how, is, how is it? It is going good. It's going five. Yeah. Five or five. It's good. Like it. Terry, like you been liking it? Oh, yeah. Still liking it. So it's going. issue of the main series left? Six. Yeah. Oh, it's just a six. Mm-hmm. But it's been very, very But I mean, good. you got to remember, you got branches for everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's yeah. a lot. Yeah. lot. I've not even picked the, I've only got the Punisher and the Daredevil runoff. I don't like, the, Dare, I don't like the Daredevil branch. Well, we, so we, like we did the Spider-Man, and we didn't like it either. But so. they did get on. Well, if they would have made him... him yeah, that is. The main character, it might have been better, but he was playing a supporting role, and I've never known Spider-Man to be a supporting character. But do you think were they trying to introduce new ones, or you know, no. highlight somebody else in it? No, there are new characters just, introduced in some of these spinoffs. Apparently, yeah, but the, the Spider-Man was just I don't know who they are. I mean, I remember a couple it of them. Just, well, well, not well, written well, bad as uh, Black Cat. No, uh, no, Black Cat was bad. <laughs> yeah. book that sold out. It wasn't that great. Well, what gets me on Black Cat is, is how much they give you of it. You know, you don't get half the book it's if really that. Beautiful. I just wrote that second story all the way through it and <laughs> called it something else, I've been happy. <laughs> for any of you all that live close here in Mountain City and, and you've been looking for the Scotty Young variant on Black Cat, I got one in this time out. And there it is. It is a beautiful cover. If you like Scotty Young, you are. I love the tune art. I do. I love the tune art. So that's the only one I've got. So if you, you see it, if y'all want it. Which way? I don't even want it for the cover though, I just didn't like the book. <laughs> I'm just far away from the book like that. I wouldn't think great. I guess there's some people that like it. The artwork on the covers has been worth the price That's of the book. Covers. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of nice. has been doing a lot of really good covers though. Well, see, this this week's Nightwing. Yeah, it was, was probably one of the best. Terry, can you reach the Nightwing? I found Nightwing fan and that's what caught my eyes since I walked in the store with that Nightwing. And that one was, we think about doing the review on that one. <coughs> but um, we wanted to kind of do Marvel and try to give them a fair shake since we're getting a lot of haters saying that we are bashing Marvel. So. And we're not bashing Marvel. Some of my favorite characters are Marvel characters. Moon yeah. Knight, go back to the older Moon Knight runs. I, I love those. I, I kept up with those for years. I, in order to move on with some other stuff I sold them but yeah. well Captain America will always be one of my yeah. you know favorite the Hulk I mean you know oh, so, uh, Taskmaster yeah. yeah I mean one of the best villains out there That's I would have said that but I can't pronounce it correctly so <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Taskmaster so. they think he's a big <laughs> villain well you ought to see what his first appearance goes yeah, yeah. yeah. So at least a hundred dollar book but they didn't like these guys I was a Batman and Daredevil and Captain America the three that I read growing up, mainly. Yeah. I was just strictly Batman growing up. Well, that's the reason I'm so psyched for this Superman year one, because Superman was, was the books that I, I 
Yeah, that's what I started out on. I mean, I've got Golden Age Superman books in my personal collection that I've had since I was a kid. The ones that I picked up since. Well, I'm curious. Um, before we get to we got a question for Professor Terry, but before we get to it, I want to go around your top five characters as the way it stands now. I mean, you know, who would they be? In, in one to five, you know, the, your top character to your least favorite. Well, I throw a good hard question out there. Yeah, there's so many. Um, it's hard to answer. Yes. Most of mine are going to be DC because it's going to be Superman, Batman, Red Hood, Nightwing, Nightwing and any of the Robins. But that's, that's kind of the way it, it falls with me. Say mine, you know, starting bottom going up. Um, Daredevil, Captain America, Superman. Um, I, think I like the Justice League. It's not a character, but as a unit, Justice League and then Batman. Uh, <laughs> so. How about you, Blackout? <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably just start like uh, John Stewart, Batman. This is a hard question. John Stewart, Batman, Green Arrow, Hulk. I like the Hulk. I don't know why. Just because he's big. He's an inspiration. And uh, well, I mean, Lady Death is one of them, probably like that. I mean, a lot of people don't know her, but I just I like that run. I read Lady Death still. Something I read that often. So See, that, that's something a little out of the box yeah. there. I mean, well, no, I'd have you know I'd have to take Hulk out and put Spawn in there because I do love reading Spawn comics yeah. too. Yeah, I was kind of going to ask you about Spawn. But yeah, I like I love reading Spawn comics. Fresh. Yeah, Superman's always been the top for me. Uh, Justice League, although kind of like David on the unit. Uh, Lobo, I love. I've always like Lobo, and now I'm getting him in Krypton. Haven't seen Krypton. Like, yeah. Watch it if they like logo. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, Brainiac was in it. Yeah. Dark Side. Yeah. Or Dark Side. I just said Dark Side. Doomsday. 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 My bad, bro. Don't hit me. No. no. I know that's your, that's your homie right there. Of course, one of my favorites is Thanos, and he's got a series out right now. The uh, giant Quake. Another, another character I really <laughs> like. Yeah. Well, I've got to go Red Hood, Batman, Superman, Frank, Punisher, and probably Damien. I like Damien Wayne. He's probably my favorite Robin. Yeah. It's really hard to name five of so much more. Yeah. Well, what about yeah, the, yeah. your five no, so bad guys? Well, I just kind of included that in there. Oh, that's all right. Top five bad guys. Raz Al Ghul. Joker. Taskmaster. Uh, now, remember that, because when I point at you, I want you to say that, too, because I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, 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 there's certain words that I just can't say, and that's one of them. I, Magneto. Yes. Good, good bad guy character there, and probably Dark Side. I would go uh, Brainiac. Joker, Clayface. I always liked Clayface. I thought he was really cool. Yeah, I don't know why. This is cool. Um, Sinestro. Because I'm a Green Lantern man. Sinestro is fantastic. He's a, good guy. Yeah. He's a good villain. Um, I like Brainiac. And, uh, if I had to pick one to hate, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. He's going to say Mysterio, but he's not really. a hard one. I had to pick one more. I, really, I like villains. 
like some of the ones I'm thinking of are like anti-hero, just not villain. You know what I mean? Maybe it falls into a whole different category. Uh, probably Scarecrow. Maybe Scarecrow. Of course, main here, Dark Side, Thanos, uh, Joker, Razak, Magneto, Doctor Doom, kind of just hard to pick. I like better out of the two than that. Big fan of Sinestro as well. Um, but just if, were to, if Doctor Doom were to get into a fight with Magneto, the Magneto would. Like, Crushing with the metal before Doctor Doom could do something to get him. Yeah, we just you know. That would be whoever lost the first strike. Yeah, that's so pretty much how that would win that one. Right. It could go either, that way. It could go. It kind of go either way. Say that one. Well, my top five first penguin. I just yeah. he's penguin. Man, just, you know, he's just, he don't care. He'll shoot you in the face and laugh about it. <laughs> so <Soul> Fred Castle. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, Brainiac. <laughs> Doomsday Task Task Task. That's it <laughs> Red Hood Or not Red Hood Red Skull Red Skull I forgot about Red Skull right? There's so yes. many of them You can't really need five That's hard to ask somebody What's wrong with it? Well I mean You've got Every hero Has multiple yeah. Villains yeah. And it's hard to It's hard to pick your favorite I mean like, If you're going to go with with the Punisher as your main character, Jigsaw has to be in there somewhere. Yeah. Because, you know, he's he's a great bad guy for him. Or one we've totally missed out on, the Batman Who Laughs. Right. Yeah, I know, he's one of my favorites. I didn't even think yeah, of but Which you know, one? I mean, the, the he's Batman Who Laughs series, though, has its own. Uh, it's got its own little twist. Man, you know, I was like, like that this, character ever took off. Well, I believe it has because he's getting ready to jump into the yeah, Batman Superman, Batman, Superman Superman run. Superman. Shazam, um, I don't see it stopping at number seven or six. What's it going to be? Seven, right? Yeah, seven now. Extended it from seven. yeah, I don't see Started it. Started at five issues, went six, now it's seven. If it does stop, it'll surprise me a little bit. Mm-hmm. Now, Daniel and I were talking about this earlier. Uh, who else has got to see if we were talking about Swamp Thing? Yeah. That has been really good. It has I've been seen all three. Quit shaking your head over there. I've seen all three Come over and slap episodes. taste out of your mouth. Stop <laughs> it. I've not watched any of it yet. Uh, well, now, Blaze says, first I first don't one. like it because it is too. It would make it too much horror based. It is. It's a horror that's, that's book. That's how it started. Thing that's is. how it started. It always has been. Yeah. A dark book. Dark character. It, it's, not a, it's not a touchy, you know, like a Metropolis Bright. Not like the so movies that came out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, no, I, this this has been a good run. I yeah, mean, this, what we've got of it so far has been good story. Yeah. Well, man, Swamp Thing. I've not been watching it. I've not paid my DC subscription. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can say it on camera. Uh, I don't have one, so I got to figure out how to get to watch it. Yeah, you know, look, I'm not speaking my personal life on this microphone. We got kids. Yeah. <laughs> Family. But, but yeah, families. you know, just what we were talking about with them canceling the uh, the series and everything. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping, I hope somebody, a uh, state, will just <coughs> jump in and say, you know, we need to pick this up and just move it to us. Hey, come on up here. We'll film it in Shady Valley in the Cranberry Box. Yeah. I mean, just to keep this show going. If it yeah. needs to be on water, we'll jump across the mountain to Watauga or yeah. South Holston Lake. Yeah. Can, out here behind the... Farm Bureau insurance. <laughs> <laughs> or, or as much as it's been raining, you know, just Anyone. give us a little bit. Yeah. We'll have it all underground. Use my yard. Swamps up <laughs> there, right? It's raining. Right there in front of my porch. Nice swampy area. But though that has been a really good you know, show so far. Right? You watched any of it yet, Terry? No, I haven't. I've got no way to watch it. <laughs> well, I'd like to see it. When I, when I get back from where I've got to go, come on up to the house. Yeah. We'll come, like to come binge we'll watch clean out the garage. Oh, I can't clean out the garage. I don't Man have cave. I don't have internet over there. Wi-Fi? Don't have Wi-Fi? Uh, it won't penetrate the walls of the garage. Oh, we've we got to get it <laughs> We've set up the screen and projector in the back. Yeah. But, uh, either way, I mean, you need what it is. Yeah. And Krypton's been... Yeah, that's something I want to jump on. Fantastic. I was like, the next meme I get that I don't understand. The only thing that DC's put out here lately that I just can't get on board with is the 
Doom Patrol. And I like the Doom Patrol. I just you yeah, just I can't watch it around your kids. Yeah, you cannot and, watch uh, it around kids. I believe it's just you know when they first introduced them into the Titans, you know I kind of liked them, but I just don't know enough about the characters. I guess to actually get invested in it. Yeah. Well, it the more yeah. you watch the show, there's the live action Doom it, in a class with the live action Titans. Well, the Doomsday's on Krypton. Well, I mean, because I'm just saying, I know, like, the animated Titan series, you had Doomsday. Oh, oh Doom you're Doom talking Doom about Doom Patrol. Yeah. It, it actually did. Did I say Doomsday again? Yeah. Yeah. I know Doomsday's not Krypton. It, uh... Doomsday, Doomsday, I know. Yeah. I was meant to say Doom In Patrol. In the Titans the series, series, the yeah, live-action Titans Titan series, they actually had a crossover episode. Did they? Yeah. yeah. They introduced them that way. Well, that's how they used to done the spin-off. They introduced them on the Titans. So. Well, I thought you'd already watched it a while. Mm-hmm. I spoiled it for you, didn't I? No, I've not been, I've, like I said, I've not paid my subscription. <laughs> I'm broke. It we had a con. Uh, found some really nice comics I liked. <laughs> I have three kids. Well, we do have a question for the professor. Um, this one, again, it's coming from Joshua. Uh, he wanted us to do some reviews, but he, you know, this was Thursday, and, you know, we try to cut it off at Wednesday, so yeah. if we're going to do a review, everybody has time to read it. Yeah. Um, but he does want to know thoughts, your thoughts, on the Bob Kane, Bill Finger, Batman, the controversy, uh, Bob Kane is trying to get all the credit for himself, but the way I look at it, and if anybody does any research on it, you can see that Bill Finger had a lot, a hand in creating Batman, he came up with the idea of the cow, originally, Bob Kane had just a domino mask like Robin, or he came up with the cow, he came up with gloves for the reason of not leaving fingerprints. Batman originally had a black and red outfit. He got rid of the red so it looked more ominous and could blend into the shadows of the black. The, the Bruce Wayne name itself comes from Bill Finger. He created, he helped create, he made, create Batman. Mm-hmm. He might have fought it up, Bob Kane. You got to give Bill Finger credit. Yeah, from what I've gathered, you know, you know um, he did come up with the character. You know? Yeah. And, I mean, you got to give him props for that because that's one of the yeah. best you know characters out there. But without the cow and, you know, yeah. the all black and gray or blue it. or, you know, the darker. He gave them the designs. Like, yeah. I, I can see a character right in my head, but I can't put it down on paper. Yeah. Know? And, you know, like, originally he wanted wings. Well, Bill Finger said, how about a cape? So, really, think about the iconic design does come from Bill Finger. It's a yeah. shame it took to just three years ago to finally get in the comic. Yeah. Where they're giving credit to Bill Finger now, says Bob yeah. Kane, Cause, with Bill Finger. Right. Because for years, you never heard of Bill Finger. Yeah, you know, it was always Bob Kane, Bob Kane. Bob Kane's original Batman design resembled more of the classic Robin (laughs) than it did Batman. (laughs) Yeah, I I couldn't picture Batman any other way than what he is now. No. I mean, could you imagine him just putting one of the the Robin's type masks on? Yeah. You know, and big old white wing look wing looking thing if you look on Detective 27 it's kind of what he has on there what do you think that's that. where um, the Thomas Wayne Batman the red and black that's yeah. what I was just over here thinking I wonder yeah. if that's where they came up with the yeah, Thomas Wayne kind of like a throwback to the original yeah probably because he had the red and black and everything I mean there. if I had created if I had a character and I had you design it for me yeah. and I started making a big with that character and I didn't mention your name you'd probably be pretty ticked off oh about yeah it. so yeah, you know yeah. think about you know and it, you know it, it, it took collaboration it, it, it's right. sad that you know it took him dying and yeah. you know everything to, I'd like to see him got his respect yeah, while he's yeah, yeah. 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 Like, I mean one of the prized things in my personal collection is a Batman 500 autograph by Bob King the only thing that could have made it better is if Bill Finger's signature would have been on it too yeah. and yeah. Uh, and we can't say, you know, it was all Kane's fault. We don't know what happened. We don't know. No one's allowed um, to defend himself. Yeah. Anymore. We don't and we're not, you know, trying to say one guy's bad and one no, guy's no. not. It's just, you know, just we wanted, my, to, he wanted us to touch base on it. And, my point is, it took know. both of them. Yeah, it did. It took one guy to come the idea that they're going to design it. So he's got to get credit because he did that iconic look come from him. But Bob Kane had a big part in it, too. I'm not even discrediting him at all. Yeah. Without both of them. Right, it just like there. Right. Jerry Siegel yeah. and Joe Shuster on Superman, same yeah. thing. You know, they both came, collaborated on this character. They don't need for it to be neat, though. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that answers this question. 
Well, if it don't, I'm sure he'll let us know. And, and we had to we'll, wait a few more weeks anyway. Yeah. Well, no, he sent, like I said, he sent this to us Thursday. Oh, okay. okay. Um, <coughs> he wanted us to do uh, Old Man, or Dead Man Wolverine. Dead Man, Dead Man Logan. Yeah, Dead Logan. Mess up another title. <laughs> Dead Man Wolverine. Did you mess up, mess up another one? He's back here. It's Dead Man Logan. <laughs> yeah. Right, right behind, behind you. Right behind your head there, Terry. Right there. Dead Man Logan. Yeah. Hold the chunky baby. Ten like, man. man. Ten man. Power of ten. Look, y'all can't. Look, I'm sorry. I am excited. And the more I read about, the more research I do, I am excited I about that. The House right. of Ten and the, the, the Power of Ten and Half Six. Yeah. I want to try both of them and give it a try. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just see. Hope, hope for the best on that. I, I'm I'm wanting a good. I'm I'm hoping they bring Colossus back. That'd be great. As as a good main character, I don't care anything about Cyclops. I never uh, have. Nobody does. Though. Scott's a douche. <laughs> but I hope he takes puppies. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> kick a dog I hope <laughs> you, Rob. <laughs> I hope they bring Colossus back. Good, strong character. Yeah, he is. Without the Russian time. That's interesting because that's one of my favorites. Well, he, well I'd like to see him do something like that. He's Russian. 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 Yeah, he's yeah, Russian. Is he? Yeah. 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 Especially when he goes to the bathroom. His name is Peter Rasmus. Res- Res- Jewish, so I'm just saying. <laughs> he is Russian. Basis off names here. No, he, he's he's Russian. He he came off of a, a Russian farm. Yeah, well, I just go back. I have to go back. Well, for my you. lame joke of the day, no, I'm Russian and European when I go to the bathroom. What? I'm Russian to the bathroom and European when I'm in there. <laughs> That's better than dog. <laughs> Boo. 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 It's interesting you mentioned Colossus. That's one of my favorites. So, you know, I always really like that character. Well, I'd like to see him do something with Gambit. I'd love to see him Gambit's do something a good with Gambit. character. He wouldn't make it. I don't believe he'd make a good main character. He has his own standalone. Yeah, no, he's got it with the uh, wedding of her, him and Rogue, Mr. and Mrs. S. Yeah. Yeah. I like Gambit. They've I tried. They've they've tried to stand alone by himself. He just. I don't think he really does. Popularity rivaled that of Wolverine. At least yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's good there. I was surprised. But again, like I say, I don't believe he'd make a good main character. He'd yeah. make a good I, don't, I don't think they they'll, you know, Wolverine just had so many things because he, every writer had something that they could add to it because of the amnesia and, and all of these different things that they could just make up. And oh, Well, did anybody ever figure out the why his claws shine now or sparkle or whatever they do? Fire? Well, heat up. Yeah. Phoenix Force. Yeah. Is that what it yeah. is? But, you know, Josh gave us that question, but we want to try to get from you guys out there more <coughs> questions in, you know, not just for Professor Terry, but for the rest of us, things that you would be interested in us reviewing, just questions, yeah. any kind of information like that that you guys have got. Yeah, yeah and we're right next on comics, but, you know, that covers a wide base of everything. I mean, we do movies, we do, you know, the, the comic book related. Speaking of movies... Uh, New Mutants. Yes. They pushed it back to next year. Did they? Uh, I'm not looking forward to the New Mutants. Well, it, it's the way I'm seeing it. It's it's going to be the like the Demon Bear saga. Yeah. yeah. And that's the way you understand it, yeah. Terry. Yeah. So it's going to be more like a horror yeah. movie than yeah. it is a superhero movie. Yeah. Well, see, DC's been doing that, and I think they've been knocking it out of the park. Yeah. The, the whole, stone. Yeah, they might overkill it, but you know why? I mean, strike while the Fire starting hot man. But what, as far as the horror? Yeah, the horror side of it. Yeah. As far as horror superheroes, I'm looking forward to Bright Brain. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty different. It, it was. It's going to be horror. Right. I mean, you got to see it. Yeah. It, it definitely is a, you know, it's not a DC or any related. It's not affiliated with it's any. not affiliated no. with no, any. No. That's it why I just, throw out, I just threw out super horror. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of the things that he does in that movie. I see that. I don't say that word. <laughs> Some of the things he does to people in the movie. Yeah. Definitely horror. But, yeah, if you got anything you want us to talk about, review, 
shed light on anything we'll be more than glad to do it for you this has been one of our calmer episodes yeah, for some reason bad. and yeah. then more reserved I don't like it I don't either <laughs> don't like it at all like and if anybody knows anybody that works with Dr. <coughs> Enough uh, we won't try to get sponsored <laughs> or anything you know at this point I don't care if toilet yeah. paper company decides yeah. to sponsor us yeah. just, we need we some need new equipment yeah. camera laptop T-shirts. T-shirts. Merchandise. Oh, speaking of merchandise, we are getting stickers in. I've got some. Um, I meant to bring some to show everybody, but uh, be selling a set of them for a dollar. Dollar set. They're pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Everybody here. Put them on your fridge. Yeah. Laptop, computer. Put them on your fridge. That way you won't be as hungry when you go to it. You'll yeah. lose weight if you yeah. got our faces on it. <laughs> Ceilings, whatever you want to do. <laughs> black camera stickers on the back of your phones. Uh, but yeah, we're still. That, that'll be next. We'll get action figures, man. Yeah. And pops. And, and pops. pops. Yeah. yeah. Got to get those. I'm waiting for Albert to get back at me and my character design. Black hammer character. Which I didn't know Dark Horse has a black hammer series. That I might pick up and read because they're getting ready to follow. They're doing a uh, crossover with DC on, uh, I think, it's Batman. Justice League. Justice League, yeah. So, I gotta pick that up. I'll check that out. And then change my name. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might be going against some copyright law somewhere. <laughs> Go with my Black Hammer. He's gonna start going by Black Man. Tuh. <laughs> 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 FD? FD. <laughs> he doesn't like that nickname. So we'll just call him Daniel. <laughs> I prefer to call him David. And, and. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's about to get real. <laughs> real nasty, real fast. They might like that. <laughs> what are you taking off your shirt? I'm going to set boo you through this table. <laughs> and as if you can't tell, Blaze is actually back with us. He had a nod off. Yeah, we are thankful for Blaze. He, he, well, I guess. <laughs> we are. No, we did miss him. I've only had to beat him twice today to get him to, to do what he was supposed to be doing. So. We do. We, I mean, parental correct. And we are missing Jonathan. Uh, he didn't get a chance to be here. Yeah, he had some family obligations yeah. he had to take okay, care see, of. Okay, see, that's why I was like, Jonathan's. Not, Jonathan's here, Blaze isn't here. And things still, but Jonathan disappears, Blaze comes back, and he's like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. They don't want their love to be seen together. Oh, <laughs> Y'all messed up our feng shui. <laughs> we're off today. Their yin and yang. <laughs> I, I don't think we're really off. I think we've had a good discussion about a lot of yeah. different stuff. Yeah, we've had a very calm uh, episode. Yeah. Yeah. It's so yeah. different. We ain't done yet. I ate a bunch of cookies. Because <laughs> I'm sleepy. I'm yeah, you got to... I want to wish you a safe trip. Got the school to go to. And training and training and training. <laughs> like somebody died. <laughs> well, this is my last episode, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to tell you. Yeah, let's not even pretend on that. No, it's more. That would be morbid. <laughs> morbid? Yes. If you... <laughs> Jokingly said that, and then next week. I wasn't here. Yeah. That would be morbid. That's what we need to do. I need to stand over here. Everybody's just. Uh, <laughs> we'll be like, we could have done I that. surprise! We could have done that. If you wouldn't have spoiled it. <laughs> Had us originally. Well, I hope I'm still here. <laughs> be like, comics will kill a character off, and then all of a sudden they just show yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Days of our lives. As long as you're not Mar Bale. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he doesn't come back. Nobody wants to be that one. Bring him back! <laughs> they brought him back. He went from well, man <laughs> to woman. Yeah. Uh, no, I want Captain. <laughs> I want Marvel. The I read. Now they've been. Well, I'm not going to get on on that. But who do you think that they'll bring the back Thanos. to replace Captain Marvel? Yeah. Well, according to the movies, you know, you can get mad at me. You want to? They won't care. But them. But according to movies. They want a more gay character to play 
you know, in the movies. Do you think that's what they're going to do with the... I don't think so. I think that the popularity of the character has just bottomed out. Uh, she can't... And, and there's... I'm not saying that a female lead can't carry a book. Wonder Woman's done it for years. Yes. And done a fantastic job. Black Canary done it for a long time. Uh, Mockingbird. Lady that Death. woman. You know, they're in this and she's yeah, carrying Harley Quest. Yeah. Harley Quest. Yeah. Harley Quest. Yeah. 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 Independent yeah. people. Lady Death. Yeah. Uh, Vampirella. Yeah. You know, all of Betty them. and Veronica. Electra. Yeah. I mean, there's yeah. a play. Yeah. That's what not a lot of people forgot about right there. That's true. It's just yeah. a fact of the matter her. that the the character sucks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, like you had said, she's not a main character. She's no. not. She, she, I don't believe she was designed to be a main character. And for them to try to take a, a B-list character to make them an A-list, just... Seems like, you know, she's someone you know, jump in for a special event type of thing. Yeah. Not a, you know, build on you. She was a good character in the A-Force run. And the A-Force run was, was good. It was too short-lived, but yeah. it was good with She-Hulk as the leader of the group. Yeah. Um, That'd be like trying to make a standalone Domino. I mean, honestly, you're trying to use Captain Marvel as her own standalone. You can't do Domino as a standalone. They have. It's you been pretty that, good. Yeah. How's that going? It ain't bad. <laughs> really? At all. Well, I just don't see her as a standalone character. You're right, about it. But you can't take a character that's been a sidekick or something for a long time and then try to make them. I mean, in certain cases, yeah, you can. Bucky, Bucky was, you know. But they didn't stay the same character. They changed personas. Yeah, he's, he's, you know. They grew. They grew into a different, you know. Well, you're sucking at it. What about all the robots? Look, we're having that conversation right now. Shut up. They grew into their own personality. Yeah. You know, they, they really evolved. They started at yeah. one level yeah. and they progressed into another. Yeah, it's like an arsenal. I yeah. mean, starting off with Speedy yeah. as a sidekick to Green Arrow, yeah. and then you know they took him into the whole drug abuse era and everything else as being a heroin addict, and then uh, he got clean, and then started, you know, had a child and everything else. We watched this character grow from a 12 or 13 year old kid into an adult male and he had problems as he went but he overcame them and that's what made the character more endearing yeah. we didn't have that with Captain Marvel no. what we had was you know all of a sudden Here's you had is. yeah you had Marvel and then you had Nothing Carol Danvers and for when they put out the movie try to make it's like they're trying to force feed you yeah. into liking a character and that just don't work. <coughs> and on rare occasions, you've got a Bucky, where you've got a twelve-year-old boy. Then all of a sudden, bam, you got a man. But he's they still develop him. Yeah. And I believe he could do his own standalone. Well, yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they give a lot of his backstory where he's been. Yeah, yeah. Along with him all the years. A I've lot, a lot of the thing that that I think with the uh, Captain Marvel is they started her overpowered to begin with. Yeah. And then. A lot of her stories are off Earth, so we don't have a chance to to grow with her as you know. Well, that's what made her a good co-person. Mm -hmm. You know, she they could just back. send her off and say, you know, the, well, this is where she's been. You know, you haven't seen the character grow at all. Yeah. They yeah. haven't given you the opportunity. And and even being off world, Nova is a fantastic character, yes. and most of his stuff happens off world with the Nova Corps but still they gave you time to get to know the character and what he was supposed to be doing and then there again he started out as a young character mm -hmm. not a an adult with voila boom, you're you know, one of the most powerful superheroes that's been well, created every one of my favorite you know from Jason Todd because you got to see him stealing the wheels off the Batmobile yeah. to die in front of him. That's how Batman first met him. Yeah. To um, die by the hands of the Joker, to coming back. You know, and then he, they could have left it at that, but you got to see him grow even more. You know, 
through the rest of the series, the 52, you know, the new 52 run, and then into this run. Okay. I mean, you've got to see him grow with the Arsenal. Uh, then you get to saw, you see him grow with um, Artemis and uh, Bizarro, and that was a heck of a team up there, watching him go through that. And there again, good supporting cast. Yeah, and uh, Batman, you know, everybody knows the famous Batman story, you know, how he grew up. Everybody knows the Superman story, how he grew up. You get to grow with these characters, even though it's just a one-shot issue telling the backstory. You know, they put it down there. I haven't read nothing like that on the Danford. No. You know. And I'm not just picking on her. There's several characters out yeah. there that they try to force you to like. And they just, yeah, you know, they need to take time to. Trying to catch lightning in a ball. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you get to take the time to, to know a character, you know, Image was pretty good about that as far as, you know, Profit. Profit started off yeah. high speed. But you had flashbacks yeah. as to why he was doing what he was doing. Yeah, and that's yeah. and that's <coughs> one reason that I've switched to DC is because I've invested this time to get into this character. Yeah. You know, several different characters, um, and for you know thirty minutes to an hour, you know that they become family a month. You know, when I'm reading the comic, you know. Um, they stay consistent with their character, to me, again. Marvel, on the other hand, has it with the characters that I've enjoyed. The Captain America, if you look at the runs, you know, eh, you know, some of them's good, some of them's bad. When they're good, they're good. Yeah. But when they're bad, they're bad. <coughs> the same thing with the Hulk. And you know, I'm not a big fan of the new Immortal Hulk run. I think they took him back farther than they needed to take him back to only coming out at night. He's done past that. You know what I mean? He's already yeah, out through that stage. Yeah, I've already stage. seen that. Yeah. You know, don't put don't put it back. But people's loving it. So I mean yeah, it's a popular book. Yeah it is. Well give me your take on that totally awesome hulk. Oh, you just opened up a can. <laughs> it, 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 it sucks. You, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say nothing at all. Why kill a character <laughs> off as Bruce Banner? Somebody that is killing it as a Hulk. And then, you know, bring in a different character, you know. Do what? The Artemis Ch- Chow? Artemis, what is his name? Oh, Amadeus. 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 Yeah. They yeah. killed Bruce Chow. Yeah. yeah. Who's the Hulk? Well, he's, again, now in the that mortal was just, run. That was a different. But before the mortal run happened, they killed the Hulk off. Uh, Bruce Banner handed the arrow to uh, Hawkeye. And said, "You're the only one I can trust. You know, you can see it in my eye before I try to shoot me in the eyeball. I'm dead. You know, which makes no sense to me at all. But Bruce Banner designed it so they killed him for a long time. And then they brought in uh, Amadeus, uh, Amadeus and uh, blood transfusion. No, that was she hope but yeah. blood transfusion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how did he get the? Uh, I don't even know. He was, was, remember, he had the watch that." Uh, or not the wad, but was the, Ben Ten? <laughs> well, so so he, was, he was he was able to extract the physicality and strength and everything of the Hulk with this machine that he wore, but keep his super smart intelligence. And he supposedly was smarter than Bruce Banner. Yeah. So he was able. But to, if you look at the smartest people in Marvel, he ain't up there. Bruce Banner is. Mm-hmm. But he's not up there. Like the, series I read. Um, the only thing that I read any worth anything with uh, the totally awesome Hulk was the Generations. Yeah. Where um, yeah. Bruce Banner. Uh, so and I'll I'll go along with you. That changed. was a good story, but the introduction of Weapon H in Totally Awesome Hulk. But that wasn't totally. Was, awesome. Well, yeah, but it still that was Bruce Banner's blood that started it. Yeah, it was, but yeah. it still ran through that through, series. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the fact that he thought he could control the Hulk, that was the only thing that, and Bruce was like, you know, you'll learn. <laughs> you, know, it ain't, you ain't controlling. So Marvel went through that time, and that's why I got Ronnie Hardy read it Marvel. They were replacing every character with somebody else. You know, you know, well, is it just me? And this might be on a little bit on the controversial side. Yeah. But is it just me, or is Marvel appeasing to the, the public more than they need to? 
They're trying to make everyone happy. Yeah. You, know, you can't. No. Because then the people that were happy with it are going to be really irritated. Yeah. Because back in the day, um, Professor Xavier and Magneto was based off of Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Yeah. That's who the two characters are based off of. Back then, you didn't hear nobody saying nothing about them being white and basing them off that. You do something like that today, and your life will have an uproar. And it, and it's it's not just the color, you know. It's your your if you're straight or gay, you know, they want to turn you one way or the other. You know, leave the characters alone. That's who everybody grew up with. If you want that character, to me, go out and create you a character to fit your mold that you're wanting. But leave the characters that we all grew up with yeah. alone. There's nothing wrong with evolving the character, but evolve the character inside of itself uh, yes. or herself. Yes. Yeah. Don't completely change them up. Like, like, I don't like what they did with Starfire on the Teen Titans. <coughs> well, I don't. I don't like. I don't like what they did with Mister Fantastic and the Green Arrow. Now, I want. I want to hear your your input on the Starfire. All right, like for number one. Starfire, I know, you know, look, I got two different Starfires. I like the adult Starfire. She, from the beginning, she was an upright, good character. She, was, she wasn't like this, oh, I woke up with amnesia and I'm a crooked mobster. And, uh, you know, I just, I didn't understand. I couldn't get where they were going with her. I didn't like it. And, yeah, you know. Well, to me, that's that's like a character so, so, evolving. So like, that's, yeah, on that I mean, one. Well, yeah, you can evolve, but well, she <coughs> actually wasn't bad. She was. She was there to, to fill out a contract that she thought she was doing for the good. Yeah. You know, yeah. and she's evolving into the character that we're supposed to all know and love. Right. Um, but what they did to um, Jimmy Olsen in Superman vs. Batman bugged me. You know, he's he wasn't a war vet. You know, he wasn't in the military. Right. No. Yeah. He was a kid almost. Yeah. I mean, he was with Lois Lane. Wasn't, he he wasn't even a reporter. It was like they met for the first time, yeah. Lois Lane and him, for the first time, you know, there yeah. the that dude's hideout. You know, uh-huh. So I didn't like that at all. You know, and there's they've changed characters, so you know. But they've got you know, I guess they gotta to try to please everybody, but you ain't gonna please everybody. I do like the Jimmy Olsen, however, in the Supergirl series. I like that character. He's he's the son of a war vet, yeah. and he was uh, a photographer in a war zone as as a as his job as a reporter. And he came back and decided that he needed to make a difference and took on a superhero persona himself. That is a good evolution of a character because they didn't change the basis of who Jimmy was. They just grew him up. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's nothing wrong with In the comics, when you met him as a red-headed little freaking yeah. kid. Because he even had his own picture. little run. Yeah. yeah. You know. Superman's pal, Jimmy yeah. Ellison. That yeah. introduced Darkseid. Yeah. yeah. Cameo wasn't that. First appearance cameo wasn't that. Big. But he was still a reporter. You know, and he evolved into Guardian. Yeah. But in the Superman Batman, they just, you know, let's just give this random dude a name and call him Jimmy Olsen. Uh, yeah. It sounds familiar. Yeah. And kill him. Yeah. In the first, you know, <laughs> yeah. first yeah. 10 minutes of the movie or whatever. Yeah. And that was like poor crossbones. And, you know, he just, he lasts, what, 15 minutes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we all got to get up early in the morning. Yeah. Well, I do, anyway. Everybody, yeah. Well, little man will be there in the morning, so I'll go get up for your own. But uh, we appreciate you, so we'll try to bring the humor back sometime. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah. Long day. But, um, yeah, if you got something, um, do we want to see, uh, put some people on the uh, Dead Man logo for next week? Yeah, let's 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 give Dead Man Logan to Cody. Okay. Because I think I he'll enjoy the I think he'll enjoy the run. I like Logan. Well, let's let Johnson jump in there with you. There you go. Okay. His words hurt my brain. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that'd be a good yeah counter back and forth. 
That work for you? Yeah. All right. So Josh will do the uh, have the old or Dead Man Logan for you. Dead Man Wolverine for you next week. <laughs> What, what issues I have. I, I think I may still have an issue number one. If I do, I'll let them read that. It looks like and, you need them there right now. There might be a one behind there as well. I'll do that. good. Yeah. Hey, if you got anything you want us to review, any questions, post them below. Hit that um, like button. Yeah. Subscribe. You know, we have s Bring several views. Um, not, not even half the likes. All it takes is a little, little push the button. Share us. Please. I'm trying to marvel you guys right now. We're forcing you to like us. <laughs> 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 but no, we, you know, again, like I say, we do this because we love it. Yeah. But we also want to share the love to the people. Yeah. And, and we're starting to get a little more in our groove. We're, we're a little more comfortable in front of the camera. Yeah. yeah. And we're a little more comfortable with I, and each other and, and knowing what everybody's kind of going to say. Yeah. Yeah. And in all honesty, I believe if we had the, the right equipment to where we wouldn't have the sound issues and everything we'd we'd be a whole lot better we're but we're working on it we're working on it we'll get there but uh thank y'all good night